Hey guys and gals, Von Baden here. Going to show you the bone crown build. Uh, once again, we're using my new favorite friend here for materials, EVA foam. And what I've done is I did not realize that I had such a fat head. And originally, I cut this piece. We'll get to that in a minute. I was going to double it up anyways, but measured my head and I uh, measured wrong. Because this one, here, we'll do it this way. This one goes around my head and touches the original piece that I cut to go around my head. Yep. That's right, folks. My head gained in 20 pounds or so but anyways it's gonna double this up anyways so no big deal so what will happen here is these two will go together and they'll be glued and then I wanted to make sure this center I just didn't want it to be uh, plain wanted to add something but not something that would totally take away from the rest of it so there you go that will be the centerpiece and then we'll do some bone fingers or something coming off the top for the points of the crown and that and I'm working on a better I don't know if I had seen this on YouTube. I'm sure if I had the time to actually search it out, I would find it, but I don't have that kind of time. So I am going to work on a better looking bone for the fingers that will come out of the top and curl in. But this is Q tips and hot glue. I'll probably pick a better color. I don't really like color, but. I wanted to see how close I could actually get to looking like both. So this is run up excuse me, run number one and we'll work on more of these. To make oh goodness. Uh, make better ones. Look better. But I will do a separate tutorial on that in case you guys decide that you want to make cheap bones and you don't want to dig up bodies. Some people aren't into that. I get it. And uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned. Hey guys and gals. Von Baden back. I do apologize. I went a couple steps further than where we were before. Last time on the same bat channel, same bat time, I was just getting ready to plasti dip the crown. Since then, I have actually plasti dipped it and painted it with the white. I got some of the red in there and my ultimate goal is to get some other colors in there, get things popping, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, plastic dip the whole thing, my fingers, all that fun jazz, then I got some gloss, or white gloss spray paint, did the entire crown, um, except for... Eh. Ran out of paint, but that's all right. We'll work on that later. Uh, so, I am going to try something. I want to see how it comes out. To add a bit of dingy, grungy, yuckiness to this that will make the wife cringe. Um, she likes it when I do that stuff. But... I don't know if it's going to work, it's just a little stone rolling right now, around this big old 
iconographer I have. Um, so, if it works out, you guys will get to see it. And if it doesn't work out, we'll act like I never said any of this at all. But, right now I'm just trying to get the cracks of it filled in with a nice solid red. I've got <coughs> a few different colors. Excuse me. I know that sounded absolutely horrible. I think I'm coming down with something again. Yay! Love winter. Not. But I picked a few different colors here to do the fill-ins and whatnot. I have a Cafe Ayu Latte, I don't know, but it's brown. We got this taupe gray, will be in there. My red for the blood. I am going to try this antique gold in the centerpiece to make that stand out from the rest of this and I'm going to do a grungy wash of black and some brown is the goal and hopefully it comes out looking as amazing as it does in my mind right now but I don't know and then I'll add some latex stringy flesh and things like that off of the fingers and around the crown so that's where we're at sorry I didn't do a little bit of a progress a little bit sooner but it's the holidays and I got working on it and just totally zoned out for a hot second and was like oh so apologize but that's where we're at looking pretty good in my opinion once we get some other colors in there and then grunge it up and make it then uh will be ready for show so stay tuned and we'll get to you in just a moment hey guys and gals von baden back um this is where i'm at with the crown of erebus Try to give you a sliding isn't the greatest for this, but there is gold etching it's done in the symbol, and I definitely don't have good enough light. I don't know, you can see it a little bit there, but there's gold etching in there. I've got a very wet look to it, and this is my my dilemma on this I don't know if I'm in love with the idea of doing the latex skin on it or not but for now this is where this is at and I didn't want to keep you guys waiting any longer but what I ended up doing was I did an entire after I plastic dipped the whole crown I went back and I did a gloss white over everything. Then I went around some of the edging of the bones. And in this light, you can't see any of that detail. That's awesomely horrible. But it's there. I do promise you that. I went through and I did a the taupe gray in there to kind of give some of the edges a little bit of a pop. I did in the void spaces around the bone. I did a red, and that's not really showing up in there either, but maybe if I get closer, you can see a little bit of popping through. But, nonetheless, there is red in there. Once that was all dry, I went back and did a um, acrylic black over the entire thing and then wiped wiped it off I'm not worried about the inside because no one will really see the inside and then 
have to take care of the bottom, but that's no big deal. Um, a few things that I would change when I was measuring out my head. Apparently I have a bigger head than I thought I did. So I had this vacant spot here on the back that's not two layers. And I think that's partially why I'm ending up with this Grand Poobah look to my uh, my crown, but that's okay. Um, so in the grand scheme of things, I would end up scrapping that and going back and redoing it. But overall, I like it. Maybe down the road, I'll add some latex skin on it or something along the lines. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys might have some suggestions, but basically red in the vacant spots, the gray taupe on some of the edges of the bone, the black wiped that off, and then I finished it off with a um, cherry stain to give that grungy wet look which it definitely has. So, if this is your first time to the channel and you enjoyed this, by all means, hit the little subscribe button down below. Uh, leave a comment. Maybe you have some suggestions of what you think I could add to this to make it look a little bit more creepier or disgusting. Or creepy and disgusting all at the same time. But I will see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.